How great. Come on, lift up your hand and say, How great, how great. Sing with me, yeah. How great. Oh, we sing, yeah. How great. How great. How great, how great. How great. Oh, we sing with me, yeah. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Come on, lift up your hand and just worship him. Tell him how much you love him. Father, we love you. Father, we love you, oh God. Father, we love you, oh God. Your name is great, oh God. Your name is great, oh God. Oh, Shakara Bababaya. Yes, we worship you, King of Glory. We worship you, King of Glory. Yes, we worship you. Yes, we worship you. Yes, we see you, oh God. All we see is you, oh God. All we know is you, oh God. You're the great and mighty King of Glory. You're the great and mighty, oh God. We love you, Holy Spirit. Yes, Jesus. Oh, Shatarabaya. Woo, Shakarabaya. We bless you, Holy Ghost. We bless you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Come on, worship him. Worship him, worship him. Worship him, worship him. Exalt his name. Malibu, Shakarabaya. We bless you, Holy Spirit. Malibu, Sendarabaya. We bless you forever, oh God. Yes, 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 Jesus. You reign forever, oh God. You reign forever, oh God. Malibu, Sakala Babaya. Yes, Tate, Rakate. Malibu, Sakala Baya. Oh, you are glorious. Oh, you are glorious. Oh, you are glorious. Oh, you are glorious. You are glorious, oh God. You are glorious, oh God. Manebo Shakalabaya. Woo! Maya Laba Shatalaya. Maka Satalabaya. Manebo Shakalabaya. Oh, we bless you. Oh, Shatalabaya. Woo! Shakalabaya. Oh, Shalabaya. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Jehovah is your name. 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 Oh, we love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. You're the mighty warrior who's great in battle. Jehovah is your name. If you think about what the Lord has pulled you through, He's the mighty word. Hallelujah. Jehovah is, is His name, yeah. Jehovah is your name, yeah. Is your name, yeah. Jehovah is your name. Hallelujah. Jehovah is your name, Lord. Hallelujah, yeah. Jehovah is your name. Yeah. Is your name. Yeah. Mighty warrior. Mighty warrior. Are you alone or great? Jehovah. 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 You are mighty. 
is your name, Lord. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name, Lord. Come on, wave your hands and say, Jehovah is your name. And we love you, Jesus. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. Mm, Jehovah is your name, Lord. Jehovah, Jehovah. Mm, Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Yeah, you are the mighty warrior. Savior, 
Come on, give him the praise. Worship him, worship him, worship him. Worship him, worship him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He gave us his only son. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. 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 We love you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. We honor you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 Usher, usher, she, 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 come on. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One more time. Usher, usher, usher.
mkosi Yesu ulu Uwaza shai zanda Shai Haleluya Oh haleluya Yesu ya kubonga cheso Yesu ya kubonga cheso Say hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Say a good bong, a Say hallelujah, oh hallelujah. Say a good Hallelujah! 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 Come on, somebody, just shout yes! Yes! The Lord is in this place. The Lord is in this place. I just want you to look at your neighbor and say, Neighbor, don't you know that the Lord is in this place? Come on, look at the neighbor and smile at the neighbor and say, neighbor, you are looking good tonight. You, are, uh, you look like somebody who is ready to receive from the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. The theme of this uh, conversion is three days of resurrection. So I want to talk to somebody tonight who has got any dead situation. That as we finish this conversion, any dead situation is resurrecting. Anything that was dead in your life is resurrecting. Do I have somebody who believes the Lord in this place? Do I have somebody who is like that in this place? Come on, somebody shout, Jesus! Jesus! Come on, somebody celebrate, celebrate, celebrate! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She Kaliba Kalari Vitaruna. Io Io Kalvari. Io ka. Can I hear somebody sing? Let's go. Jesso Nasuela Kalvari. Kaliba Kalari Vitar. Come on, say. Let's go one more time, everybody. Let's go one more time. Ari, Ari, Jesu na shela kawar. Oza. Oza. Hai Jesu na shela. Kaliwa kaladi bi. Iyo iyo. Wave your hands, come on, wave your hands, wave your hands, come on, wave your hands, wave your hands, wave your hands. Somebody scream! Come on, somebody go, come on, wave your hands, wave your hands, wave your hands, come on, 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 Let's 
you go. Come on, somebody, just move with me. Shoot, 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 shoot. Ah, go. One, one, two, three, go. Shh. your voice I want you to open up your mouth and say Lord because of what you did for me on the cross of Calvary I'm here today I'm alive today I am a witness 
of what he did for me on the cross of Calvary. Hallelujah. My life is a testimony of what you did. Hallelujah. I just want you to lift your hands, open up your mouth, and just begin to exalt his name. La braba so cavrada hasoko. Ela sobra di hasoto. We love you, Jesus. We love you. Maro baba sopra di. Thank you, Jesus. La cavaba socodo. La rana baba sopra da hasekete. Ela do sacavra di hasoto. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. After today. My life will never, will never be the same again. After today, my life will never, will never be the same again. I want you to tell your neighbor, after today, my life will never will never be the same again. I decree, I decree, and I declare my life will never be the same again. I decree, say I decree, and I declare my life will never be the same after today, after today, will never be the same again. After today, after today, will never be the same again. I say, after today, after today. Be the same again. So I decree and I declare my love will never be the same again. I decree and I declare my love will never, my love will never, my love. Say I decree. My life will never be the same again After today, after this day Will never be the same again After today, after today Will never, will never be the same again and I declare into my life, my love will never be the same again. I decree. I just want you to open up your mouth and declare into your life that your life will never be the same again. La praha so kopo ho saka, le nala baba saka brada haso. My life will never be the same. My life is turning around. My life is sending around. My life will never be the same. My life will never. I decree and I declare. My life will turn around. Whatever that has been not working in my life. After this conversion. Maro prakata hasokoto. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Say I decree and I declare my life will never be the same again. I decree and I declare my life will never be the same. I decree and I declare my life will never be the same again after today as I'm living this place 
Because of the reason that I'm in this place, my love for never, my love for never, my love for never, high degree. somebody I'm looking for somebody who is saying tonight I cannot remain the same I'm looking for somebody who is saying tonight I cannot remain the same I cannot remain the same I can never remain the same you know when you enter this place you enter this place with expectations so right now I want you to crank those expectations and say, Lord, now I'm in that place. Now I'm in that place. So I'm ready to receive from you. I'm ready to receive from you, Lord. I'm ready to receive from you. I'm ready to receive from you, Lord. I'm ready to receive from you, Lord. 
Thank you, Jesus. I'm ready, Lord. I'm ready, Lord. I'm ready, Lord. Hey, God. Just lift your hands up to the Lord. I want you to make this prayer tonight. To say, open my eyes so I can see what lies ahead and what lies before me. Just ask him tonight. Lord, open my eyes so I can see what lies ahead. What lies before me? Come on, somebody open up your mouth. I say, open my eyes. Open my eyes so I can see. What lies ahead? What lies ahead? What lies before me? What lies before me? All I need you, Lord, to do for me is just to open my eyes tonight. Wallace ahead, Wallace before me. Yeah. I'll say, Open my eyes, Lord, so I can see. Wallace ahead, Wallace before me. I'll say, Holy Spirit.
worship. our voices God we lift our hearts God we say Yahweh is your name we say Ebenezer is your name lift up your hands and worship him wherever you are give him praise give him praise give him praise give him praise come on give him praise give him praise come on Come on, put the two hands for Jesus, wherever you are, and uh, give God a mighty shout of praise if you are here to celebrate the resurrection of the King of Kings. Come on, lift up your hands wherever you are and shout hallelujah. Lift your hands and shout hallelujah. 
Wave your hand, wave your hand and give him praise wherever you are. Give him the glory. Give him the adoration. Give him the glory. Give him the glory. Give him the praise. 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 I want to hear some crazy noise. Give him praise. Give him glory. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Lift your hands. Give him praise. Give him glory. My God. My God. My God. My God. My God. Hallelujah. Just move around to about two people. Tell them you are welcome to the Easter convention. You are welcome to the Easter convention. You are welcome to the Easter convention. You are welcome. And if you see that your neighbor is not smiling on you, just know that that's a spirit of jealousy manifesting. Just greet your neighbor. Tell them you are welcome to the Easter convention. And all those that are watching us on Facebook, I welcome you right now to the Easter convention. God is about to do something. Your life is about to metamorphose. Your financial life is about to change. I can see it and receive it right now. In the name of Jesus. Lift your hand and shout I receive it. Lift your hand shout I receive. Shout I receive it. Shout I receive it. In the name of Jesus. Put your two hands for Jesus once again. My God, take your seats in the heavenly places and give half half to your neighbor. Tell them, neighbor, you just look so amazing. Just greet your neighbor. Tell them, neighbor, you just look so amazing. Neighbor, you look so gorgeous. Neighbor, you look so superlative, divine, fagamentorious. You look so superlative, divine, fagamentorious. Is it really you? Is it really you? Is it really you? Come on, turn about neighbor. Neighbor. If you are not careful. If you are not careful. What I'm going to do. What I'm going to do. I'm going to steal your miracle. I'm going to steal your miracle. And I'm going to become a general manager. And I'm going to become a general manager. I will employ you. I employ you. You'll be my truck driver. You'll be my truck driver. You'll be my houseboy and my house girl. You'll be my houseboy and my house girl. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Is there somebody who's ready to receive? Yes. Rako Sharinga Bahasa. Receive in the name of Jesus. I Rako Salabata. I release miracles. Mayari Azuka Aziga. I release your miracle. I release whatever you desire. The louder you're receiving, something is turning around. I see things are turning around. Yet I receive, I receive. Say I receive, I receive. Say I receive, I receive. My God, my God, my God, my God. Woo! Jesus! My God. Take your seats. Hey, tell me about neighbor. Neighbor. Do you know what? Do you know what? You are seated to a teller. You are seated next to a tellerist of miracles. You are seated next to a tellerist of miracles. If you are not careful, if you are not careful, I will hijack your miracle. I will hijack your miracle. So be careful of me. So be careful of me. I carry the anointing. I carry the anointing to tellerize your miracle. To tellerize your miracle. I see it is coming. I see it is coming. So I catalambano your miracle. Catalambano your miracle. I catalambano. I cat. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Put up two hands for Jesus. My God. You know, let me tell you something here. You see, in the spirit, there is nothing like east or west. And in the spirit, there is no direction. And in the spirit, there is no distance. So for example, on the earthly realm, we must travel from point A to point B. But in the spirit, we don't travel. In the spirit, we appear. After this service, I see you appearing in your miracle. The way you are receiving is like you are making me to an oil. You know what it means? Physically, there is a procedure. Yes. But spiritually, somebody
somebody here is about to break protocol. I said you are about to break protocol. I receive it. What was supposed to happen next year is going to happen now. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. I receive it. So in the spirit, there is no distance. Yes. So right now, I can appear in your house. I receive it. I receive it. Power. Do you, okay, okay. Do you know why I can come to you? And I can begin to tell you right now, I'm in your house. I see this. I see that. I receive. The question is that how did I travel? Because in the spirit, there is no traveling. In the spirit, there is only appearing. Yes. May you appear in your miracle. I receive it. Appear in your promotion. I receive it. Appear in your marriage. I receive it. Let your enemies be shocked. How did you appear? I receive it. I receive it. It's whereby, it's whereby your enemies, they have said that this woman, she will never get married. This woman, she will never get married. Yes. And you enter in the spirit. Yes. You appear in your marriage. Pa. I receive it. Let the devil. May you shock the devil. I receive it. May he begin to have questions like, how did you enter I this place? I receive it. Shout, I receive it. I receive it. You know, oh. I have learned these secrets. I have learned these secrets. That's the reason it is very easy for me to do my ministry. Right now, I can appear in your promotion. I receive it. And take your promotion. I receive it. I receive it. Pow! Yes! Are you listening to me here? Okay. Can I give you a crazy revelation? Here? Yes. Do you know that when Jesus died, when Jesus died, the Bible says that the soldiers, they were fighting for his garment because it was very expensive. And the Bible says these guys fought for the garment of Jesus. And after that, when they were taking Jesus to the tomb, he had grave clothes according to the Jewish system. But the Bible says when the woman went to the tomb early in the morning, the Bible says she only found the clothes. And the Bible says he had already left. To where we don't know. But I'm having some questions here. He left the clothes in the tomb. But when he resurrected to the disciples, he was not naked. Yes. Power. He was not naked. And I'm asking myself, Jesus, where did you remove your clothes? Where did you remove your clothes? Because you just left the clothes in the tomb. When you died, you left the clothes in the tomb. Now you have resurrected. You are dressing up. Where did you buy your clothes? You must bear in mind that spiritually they are boutiques. Yes. Saliga Zuzuya. I receive. <laughs> there are things prepared for you. Yes. So what Jesus did, he said, okay, you have, you, 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 you have taken my garment. What I am going to do, I am going to enter spiritually. I am going to take things that are already prepared. Yes. Listen, when he resurrected, he was dressing. And the Bible says, he appeared through the wall. Jesus as a body, which means it is possible for me to be 
disappear. Yes. And to appear. Yes. <laughs> so Jesus had to appear through the war. And the Bible says he was hungry. And the Bible says they gave him fish. They gave him fish. And the Bible says he ate the fish. He ate the fish. And after eating the fish, the Bible said there was a man called Mr. Thomas, doubting Thomas. The Bible says he wanted a sign. And the Bible says he was doubting whether it is really Jesus or the ghost. And Jesus said, come. And when he checked the hands, he found that really it is the one that they crucified. And the Bible says, Jesus said, blessed are those that believe without sin. Now, the Bible says after eating supper, the Bible says they gave him fish, he ate. And the Bible says, he then disappeared through the wall. I thought the fish would remain. He went with it, all of it. He went with it, all of it. Which means, uh, wait, do you know? You know, I was, I, I just got so shocked. Do you know that angels can eat food? Angels. Abraham saw three men and he prepared the meal and, and, and the meat. They ate meat without leaving anything. Angels. They ate everything. After tonight, I receive this message you are going to receive. I receive it. There shall be an angelic visitation. I receive it. A continuous angelic visitation. I receive it. So are you ready? 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 Yes. This is day one. Day one. Wait. This is day one. We are starting with you. We will force you. You will know why Jesus died. In this conference, I would love you to know. I would love you to know. In this conference, you will see crazy miracles. Amen. Crazy miracles. If you have, I repeat again, if you have HIV, cancer, Amen. diabetes, Amen. financial problem, Amen. your husband left you, Amen. you are looking for a job, Amen. you are looking for a better house, Amen. those things that I've mentioned, after receive, receive in Jesus' name. Receive it. Power. So I have told you, I have been praying for you, everyone. I have been praying for you. And I want you to know that it's a prophetic service. So we are going to deal with a lot of things that are hindering you. Are you ready? Yes. Lift up your hands. Let's worship God. Speak in tongues. Speak in tongues. Speak in tongues. Speak in tongues. Lift your hands. Come on. Lift your hands higher. Zebra Kalina Soprahade, Ikatro Siva, Ella Nuski Prahade, Libra Skova Hadika, Ella Troskiba Manda Librahade, Shikata Prahazahade, Ella Duski Praha, Ripra Katuske, Likrusha Baha, Lato Soprahade, Eradizo Soparahida, Lekatus Soprahade, Meka Sokopahati Gaba, Era Katuski Bahada. Garomaidi Shipra Kalamanda Libra Soprahade Arizanis to Kate Libra to the left who sits upon the throne holy holy once again come on holy holy god almighty who was and is and is to 
Stand up. Can everyone stand up? Lift up your hands wherever you are. Just lift your hands. Lift your hands higher. God wants to see your hands. God wants to see your hands. God wants to see your hands. Say, Father, Father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. Because of your death, because of your death, I am born again. I am born again. Because of your blood, because of your blood, I am redeemed. I am redeemed. Because of your blood, because of your blood, my sins are forgiven. My sins are forgiven. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you for dying for me. Thank you for dying for me on the cross of Calvary. On the cross of Calvary. And by your blood, and by your blood, I am born again. I am born again. I am called the righteousness of I God. Am called the righteousness in of God. In the name of Jesus. 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 Say Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Help me. Help me. To live a righteous life. To live a righteous life. A holy life. A holy life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. If you pray that prayer, lift your hands and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hand and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hand and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Put your two hands for Jesus. Come on. Clap your hands. 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 Come on. Continue clapping. Continue clapping. Thank you, Jesus. Continue clapping. Continue clapping. Continue clapping. Continue giving him praise. Continue worshiping him. Continue to exhort him. Continue to give him praise. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Take your seats in the heavenly places. And, uh, I love you to get ready. 
of what God is going to do. I want you to be ready. God is going to bless your life. Look. I can personally I know your problem. I know when you were born. I know what you're going through. And that's the reason the Lord brought you here. He brought you to bless you. Now, remember that uh, uh, the theme of our conference is three days of resurrection. So, as a prophet, as a founder, and as a father of uh, this ministry, I would love you to know and uh, to open up your eyes and to be very sensitive to what God is going to be doing. There will be some certain things that were dead that will come back to life. I don't know what is dead. There was a man called Lazarus. He died. And the Bible says when Jesus appeared, he gave them an instruction. So there will be prophetic instructions. Prophetic instruction via his word. It will come. God will speak to you in a revelation. You must understand that the Holy Ghost Embassy is a teaching church. It's a teaching church. So we'll love to teach you how you can take hold of your miracle during this conference. Amen. God is going to do amazing stuff. Amen. I can see what you want. Some of you, when I look at you, I know what will happen after this service. Amen. Put our two hands for Jesus. I'd love to welcome all my uh, viewers, those that are watching us on Facebook. I just want to tell you that uh, stay tuned and be blessed. Listen, what you are connected to is what you collect from. You are connected to the witch doctor, you collect from the witch doctor. You are connected to an anointed man of God, you collect from the anointed man of God. As you get connected to this anointing, the God that uses me, he will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. So, be ready. Be ready. And uh, I'd love to also to welcome everybody who is uh, joining us tonight for the first day. Uh, I've been told that there are people that are traveling from different places uh, uh, just coming to be blessed. Just coming to be blessed and uh, to, to test God. To test God. Praise God. And uh, I see different faces coming from uh, different places. God will bless you. Amen. I said God will bless you. I receive. I want to, to celebrate one of uh, 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 a great friend of mine and uh, I just love him. You know, there are people, I think among friends, I have got one. Amen. Among friends, I have people that are called friends that I can rely on and uh, they are a blessing to my life. So tonight, I am not the one who is preaching. I will do the gymnastics. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. You, you must tell me you, you, you must tell me where I must start from. If you want me to start with your relationship, I must not edit. Oh. I must not edit. No editing. It must be live. Yes. We are going to do that. Amen. Even if when you come, you tell me that prophet today, just prophesy when I was born. Yes. I will personally tell you. Amen. Yes. I want you to test me. Power. You, I've told you. Power. I am ready for you. And my God is ready for you. Amen. I remember one day somebody came to me. She was like, prophet, if he really your God is God, let me be healed from HIV. Hey, I said, ma, 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 ma. What more if it doesn't happen? 
And I told her, I said, you, look at my eyes. I said, you are healed. She was like, ah, just like that. Ah, I said, you are healed. Maybe she thought maybe I would lay hands on her. But I just said, you are healed. And she went there. She did the test. She was negative. She fainted. <laughs> Fainting like this. You are going to faint with miracles. I receive it. Praise God. So let me welcome some uh, great men of God that have come from different places. Put your two hands for Apostle Tabo success. He's in the house with the wife. Just rise up. We celebrate you. Come on. Put your two hands for them. Come on. Thank you so much for coming. God bless you. God bless you. Continue clapping your hands for these wonderful men of God and women of God. Thank you so much for coming. You can have your seat. Put your two hands for them once again. Come on. If you don't clap your hands, I know you are a suspect. Hallelujah. We have a lot of celebrities that are coming from different places. And I would love to, to welcome them. Yeah. There are a lot of celebrities. And that is you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Clap your hands. You are a celebrity. You, you want me to celebrate another person? You are the first celebrity. The firstborn of God. Praise God. Not forgetting, I want to, to celebrate uh, the presence of the Holy Spirit in this place. Amen. Yes. And the good news that I have for you tonight is that next week, next week, DDTV Africa is back. Yeah. With full force. So, God just spoke to me today. He said, now, a time has come. Amen. Without wasting of your time, let me call one of the great men of God that uh, I've been with from uh, the beginning conception of my ministry. And uh, I have approved of the grace. You must understand that the altar that I step on is an exalted altar. And anyone that steps on my altar, they have the ability to do what I can do. Praise God. This man is a preacher, so he's going to deal with some certain uh, uh, forms of witchcraft that are hindering you. This is not America. This is not America. This is, this, is, this is Africa. This is Africa. Here you don't just minister just like that. You minister with power. When you tell a person, say, you, this must happen to you, it must happen. So this man, he has been given the specialization, the two. is a witch, witch molester. If there is any witch, I'm telling you, if there's any witch, you will hear after this service, there shall be confessions. Praise God. Remember that witches are not just your uncles. Uh -uh. Even your boss can be a witch. Because witchcraft is not just about flying. It's not about flying. There are witches who don't fly, but they practice it. So he's in different levels. So this man is so much grace and uh, he has a wonderful ministry. He's married with uh, uh, a beautiful, beautiful uh, child. Very intelligent, vi vibrant and uh, very classic in looks. And uh, he's married to a beautiful wife. That, that's, that's the goodness of becoming a man of God. Because God gives you the first class. 
so that when she stands, she doesn't embarrass you. I'm telling you. That's a, you, you will never see a man of God. You will never see a man of God, especially those that are very influential. You look at their wives. If they just stand like this, you'll be like, my Jesus, where, where these men of God, where did they find these wives? Because there is a process. There is a process. Are you ready to welcome this man of God? Are you ready to welcome this man of God? All those that are watching us on uh, Facebook, I want you to take your Bible, take your notebook, take your pen, and write whatever God will be speaking. Remember the Bible says, then the word became flesh. Then the word became flesh. So the word of God when it's coming, it comes in different dimensions. To those that are hungry, the word of God becomes meat. To those that are thirsty, the word of God becomes water. To those that need breakthrough, the word of God becomes breakthrough. So it comes in different packages. So I don't know what you desire God to do for you. So as the word of God will be coming to you, get prepared. Get ready. Because God is about to shift your life to another level. Put your two hands as we will come, Bishop Dukwembi Sivanda, as he comes to bless us. Put your two hands for him as he comes. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. It's good to be here tonight. Amen. Hey. Just take your seats in the presence of God. Choir, thank you. Take your seats. You're looking nice. I've got very handsome sons. Uh, I should come with some of my sons here. And I'll make sure they sit here. So that they will be hunting. I'm so honored to be here tonight. And, uh... Ooh. I bring greetings from home, my wife. And today is our... Wedding anniversary. <laughs> yes. Uh, I got married on the 14th of April. And uh, that was 2012. The very beautiful wife. No, I'm not joking. Oh, serious. Brother Valentine, she's he's here. You know my wife. If she looks at you, you start looking for money. Think, ah. <laughs> so I was even thinking, say every time I travel with her, I want her to start dressing like he, to hide her beauty. Because our men are very wicked. They can kill me. It's a blessing to, to be here and to be with the prophet Didi Isaac. I've known him for years. And uh, his wife in absentia. And uh, the leadership of the church, Pastor Keith and the rest. I'm so honored to be here. I'm so blessed. And I'm going to share God's word uh, that God has put upon my heart. Yeah. And for sure, if there's any witch or any wizard that is harassing your life. You know, Easter is a very dangerous period. By the time we are through and done, that wizard and witch will be buried forever. 
Amen. This is not Britain. This is Africa. Whether you like it or not, in your family, somebody is involved in witchcraft. Yes. I come from a, a family of serious witchcraft. Very serious. And so when I talk about it, I know why I'm talking about it. Hallelujah. Yeah. But tonight, I'm not going to talk about witchcraft. I'll deal with that maybe the other or so. I'm going to deal with something that is very important. And I think I've taught about this here before, but from a different dimension. But I want just to add a few things to finish the whole stuff so that somebody can be blessed. Those who were here before, I think you will recall, I talked about this, but uh, add a few things just to bless your life. Amen. Amen. Turn with me to Joshua chapter 13. Joshua chapter 13, verse 1 to 6, and Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18. Joshua chapter 13, verse 1 to 6, and uh, Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18. We begin with Joshua. Joshua chapter 13. If you single and you see my face, marriage is on the way. Ah, this church is very boring. Hmm. Joshua chapter 13 verse 1. The Bible says, now Joshua was old. I prophesy over your life. That you will not die prematurely. You will see old age. Advanced in years. And the Lord said to him, You are old. Advanced in years. And there remains very much land. Yet to be possessed. This is the land that yet remains. All oh, the territory of the Philistines. All oh, that of the Geshurites. From Siho, which is east of Egypt, as far as the border of Ekron northward, which is counted as Canaanite, the five lords of the Philistines the Gazites, the Ashdods, the Ashkelonites, the Gittites, and the Ekronites, also the Avites. From the south, all the land of the Canaanites, and Merah, that belongs to the Sidonians, as far as Apec, to the border of the Amorites, the land of the Ge Gepolites and Lebanon toward the sunrise from Baal Gad below Mount Hermon as far as the entrance to Hamath. All the inhabitants of the mountains from Lebanon as far as the brook Misrep and of the Sidonians, them I will drive out from before the children of Israel. Only divide it by lot to Israel as an inheritance as I have commanded you. Now, look at this. God says, I will drive the enemies 
away from the children of Israel. Out. Now Joshua, since you are an old man, I want you to divide the land. So Joshua's assignment was to divide the land that they had not yet possessed. It's like me coming to Jobek and I go to a supermarket and I say, this supermarket is yours even before you take possession of it. So, oh God. So meaning in the realms of the spirit, it is already yours, but in the physical, it's not yet yours. So now, the, 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 the job is for me to enter into the realms of the spirit and collect what is already yours. I am a spiritual DHL. I'm a spiritual sportsman. Amen. I enter the realms of the spirit and collect what is already yours. Amen. And come out of the spirit. And enter into the natural. And deliver to you. I receive it. Now listen to me. God works with truth. And the devil works with facts. Suspects. The devil works with facts and God works with truth. It is a fact that you are broke. Huh? It is a fact that your pocket is very dry. But the truth is you are a multi-billionaire. I receive it. Oh, the devil is a liar. I receive it. It is a fact that you are HIV positive. It is a fact that you have cancer. It's a fact. But the truth is by his stripes. Amen. You are already healed. I receive it. So therefore, Paul says we don't walk by sight. Yes. Which is facts. But we walk by faith, Amen. which is an assurance of things not yet seen, Amen. but things that are already in the realms of the spirit. Amen. Oh, Jesus. That's why, oh God, help me. If you are carnal, you don't please God. And if you are carnal, you remain on the same level. Because carnal men don't enter the realms of the spirit. Yes. It's only the spiritual man that enter the dimension of the truth. Amen. Enter the dimension of the spirit Amen. and get what is theirs. Amen. So before you count me, before you look down on me, check out how I look in the spirit. Amen. I'm a serious smart billionaire. I receive it. I only cut all everywhere. I, I, I own it. cars everywhere. I receive it. And yet I'm still walking. And so God is very amazing. He says that land I've given you God knows that that and is occupied. To me, it sounds like being a thief. That's robbery. To tell you that there are places, there are things that belong to you, and yet they are possessed by illegal people. In this conference, I receive. I prophesy. Yes. 
I receive it. I declare over your life. I receive it. You shall possess what is yours. I receive it. In Jesus name. I receive it. Detroit chapter 8 verse 18. And you shall remember the Lord your God. For it is he who gives you power to create wealthy. That he may establish his covenant which he saw to your fathers as it is this day. Possessing territories is the title. Possessing territories The church must move from teaching people just how to possess cars, how to possess houses. That's a lower dimension. If I can teach you how to possess a car, it means I'm not doing you justice. I must graduate to a level where I teach you how to possess territories and how to possess nations for God. If the church is going to have serious impact in these last days, it means there are particular territories that the church must possess. And when I talk about territories, I'm not talking about just land. I'm talking about different domains and spheres in different areas of life. Possessing territories in the dimension of the educational system. The church must not be filled with people who are very ignorant. We don't only need grade sevens and grade fives to be in the house of God. We need graduates, PhD holders in the house of God. Amen. Because we are not tails, but we are heads. We are above and not beneath. Amen. So even in this time and era that we are in, the church must enter and possess territories in different domains of life. Somebody here must enter and possess territories in the industry. I receive it. Ah, this church is very boring I now. I receive. Somebody here must own a gold mine I receive in South it. Africa. I receive it. Somebody here must own an airline. I receive it. And you name the airline after your name. I receive it. Matilda Airlines. Hallelujah. Amen. Power. Somebody here must own companies. I receive it. Must own manufacturing industries. I receive it. Believers must be moved from just being employed Amen. to being employers. Amen. Not just going for work, but owning the work. I receive it. Oh, I prophesy over somebody's I life. I receive it. That the days of working are over. I receive it. Your days of working are over. I receive it. I declare you are a director. I receive it. I declare you are a CEO. I receive it. Power. Oh, God, help me here. Amen. We are possessing territories in different spheres. God says to Joshua, you are old. 
Yet there is much land. There are so many territories to be possessed. The movie industry must be owned by believers. Politics, we must have believers. How good will it be to have a tongue speaking, devil chasing, heavenly bound president of South Africa? Yakusata. Before he opens, is it parliament or national assembly? He goes like Ekuda Idazeba. Ilato Kalia Bara. It's not enough just to come in church and lift your broke hands and say hallelujah Jesus and you drop tomato change in the offering basket. I am tired and sick of that. I need believers who come and lift up their hands and say thank you Jesus Amen. and they drop a one million run check ah, on the altar. I receive. Tell your neighbor we are possessing territories. We are possessing territory. And for you to possess territories, you must be courageous. Because they'll tell you the ground you are about to enter. They'll tell you the water you are about to enter is very dangerous. But the righteous are as bold as a lion. Where they say we can't go, we shall run there. Huh? Every time a, a Christian wants to enter politics, they'll tell you, mm, you will die. You will die. They have all kinds of uh, juju and ropes in their waist and carry all kinds of things in pockets. But the Bible tells me that greater Amen. is he Amen. that is in me Amen. than the one that is in the world. Amen. I receive. Some of you here, I prophesy. I receive. Enter politics. I receive. Become the next prime minister. I receive. Become the next minister of information. I receive. Thus entering politics and entering processing territories. So that when you talk, your voice is heard. The church must go beyond the four walls and influence society. You come here and say hallelujah. You are still coming from a rented house. You speak in tongues in capital letters. But you are still coming from a rented house. And when you go home, the landlord calls you and tells you, I want my money. It's month end. I did not build that house with leaves. Landlords can talk. They make you feel like you are a kindergarten chap. How does it feel to come in church? You look at the choir. All of them are working in your company. Oh, this church is boring. I receive it. Receive your miracle. I receive it. Receive your breakthrough. I receive it. Power. And you tell them, if you sing off key, you are fired. Power. Huh? 
We are possessing territories. And I receive. And God says these territories, they are illegally occupied by Philistines, the Ammonites, the Canaanites, and all these Anites possessing your territory. But I give them to you. So God not, uh, English it's difficult for me at times. Now let me I'm going to do a direct translation here. If I come here I say you are very silly. In, in, in our mother tongue we say you are starting me. Huh? Are, are, you, get, are you getting the idea? Like, the, it's like somebody's... So God likes to start war, to start people. He says their land, before they even move out, I give it to you. That house on the corner there, the one you admire when you are driving to I work. I receive! Uh-huh. I receive. The one with a swimming pool in the bedroom. I receive it. With a helicopter pad on top. I receive. I give it to you. I receive. It is mine. Oh, the I devil is a liar. I receive it. Power. Huh? Every day you drive, you say, wow. It's not wow. God has already started the EMP. Yes. I receive. I like the way Shaka talks. Shaka says, for lack of a better term, we call it war. Impi. I declare over your life. I receive it. Whatever is yours, you will possess. I receive it. Whatever is yours, you shall get. I receive. Says I give you. That mine there, I receive. Just imagine you have a swimming pool in your bedroom. Hey. Power. When children are asleep, you wake up with your wife. Shua. Power. Oh, the devil is a liar. We are possessing territories. We are getting what is ours. We are moving from glory to glory. From blessing to blessing. Yes. Can I preach the way I feel like preaching? Yes. Hallelujah. What your mother never had, I give it to you. What your father never possessed. You shall possess. I'll receive it. Receive your car. I'll receive it. Receive your blessing. I'll receive it. Receive your favor. I'll receive it. Bow. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Sit down. Go deeper. Imagine Bill Gates bringing his tithe to the Ghost Embassy. Hey. We receive it. View cars. <laughs> Among cars, there are cars. Amen. <laughs> And so, one of the territories that you and I must possess is the territory of wealth. Whether you like it or not, I'll talk. Let me talk 
people now. Go deeper. <laughs> when we talk about prayer and the fasting, the world is quiet. When we talk about evangelism, the world is quiet. The moment the church begins to talk about money, they begin to complain. To show you that the devil doesn't want the church to be prosperous. But we are entering that territory. Amen. Poverty is bad. Huh? Poverty is pathetic. I wish I was Briton here to speak big English here. Poverty is evil. Those of you who are writing, write this number one. I think some of you have this. I'll just go through it quickly. Poverty makes you a dumping ground for unwanted goods. You know, every time I pray for women, I have a problem. Because when I lay hands on their head, I feel mountains and the bumps and I wonder, what is in here? I never used to understand what it was until I got married. I saw my wife, I, I would do this. Ah, ah! There is these extensions and Now I can't tell who has one here. Who has a wig here? You came with a wig. Here. It's on you. No, I just want to give you an example. Okay. Ayo. All right. You have had this. This has been on you for how long? You put it today. <laughs> she says after three weeks, you remove it. So after three weeks, she will remove it. Then she comes to church. My sister, oh, the Lord has ministered to me to bless you with a wig. And the sister said, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. What is happening? This sister is trying to get rid of what she has already used. When you are poor, you become dumping grounds for unwanted goods. That's why I don't like buying cars from Japan. Those of you who are from outside South Africa, you know what I'm talking about. The mileage is already 200 kilometers, 200,000 kilometers. It's already given. It's, I prophesy. You shall never be dumping ground in Jesus' name. I receive. Somebody looks at their suit. Uh, they look for somebody. Sure. I'm not dumping ground. I am a first class citizen of heaven. But poverty will make you be dumping ground. 
I declare it's over in Jesus name. I receive. Do you have bent down boutique in South Africa? Second hand clothes, do you have them here? Where you look, boxer, uh, uh, no, so it's big, here is, that's being a, uh, oh God help me. Poverty is evil. Number two, quickly. Poverty makes you age fast. Or poverty makes you look older than your age. If a man is poor, even when she is 40, he looks 80. Abraham. Eh? The Bible says when he entered Egypt, 75 years old. So Sarah was 65. When Sarah entered Egypt, who is 65 years here? A woman. You are 65 and above. Stand up, Mama. Sorry. Are you seeing Mama here? Please, she's about 65 or, or so. Please take your seat. When Sarah entered Egypt at 65, the immigration officers forgot what they were doing. They were like, wow. The girl was married to a loaded man. Some of you, you can be a granddaughter to Oprah Winfrey. But you look like you are twins. Poverty has produced wrinkles on you. It has broken fallow ground on your face. You are only 27, you look 75. And you are saying, prophet, pray for me. No man wants to marry me. They think you are a grandmother. But the devil is a liar. Yes. God will give you money in the name of Jesus. I receive it. And your appearance is about to change. I receive it. You will apply your foundation. You will apply your mascara. You you apply your window level. Yes. And when you walk, my friend, and when you throw your hips this side, men are confused hey. because God has given you wealthy. I receive power. You look like you are a grandfather. You have not yet married. Number three, quickly. Life, sorry, poverty, reduces life expectancy. Poverty reduces life expectancy. When people are poor, they die fast. Brother Onyeka, when a man is poor, sir, they die fast. You have stress over school fees, rentals, food at home, everything. So BP high, sugar everywhere, heart attack, lung attack, back attack, head attack, nose attack, eye attack, everything attack. And they're saying, oh, I just died. You're still young. What a loss. It is poverty. Huh? There are diseases that are poverty related. You know, in, in these Western countries, Some of these people, they reach 80, 90, 100. They have no stress. At 19, you already have stress of a 60-year-old man. Poverty. And you die fast. And you tell me there's something good about poverty. Poverty is bad. 
You know, if you have never been poor, you will not understand what I'm talking about. Some of us, you had to wait for your brother to come back from school to exchange uniforms. Huh? You are waiting, say, he's, he's, you, you are already pfft. And it happens the day he delays, you miss his school. You have one pair of uh, shoes or tropical. He who wakes up early. <laughs> Sleeping hungry because you are fasting is easy. <laughs> but sleeping hungry because there's no food is painful. Number four, quickly. Poverty robs you of respect. When you are poor, people don't respect you. Five, poverty steals your voice. When a man is poor, he has no voice. Last time I was telling you that in families, when you gather, and the poorest, who is the eldest, says, no, we must bury this man on, on Saturday and then the young brother who is rich says, uh, I, I was thinking we should bury him on Wednesday. Everyone will go like, yeah, 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 yeah. I think what he's saying is true. Yeah, yeah, you know. It is not the mouth talking. It is the pocket now talking. Even when you sit and you are discussing issues, when a rich man says something that is irrelevant, and you who is poor, you bring out a brilliant point. People will still say, ah, but I think what he has said, yeah, is. <laughs> Number six. Poverty robs you of your friends and relatives. When a man is poor, he has no friends. Even relatives run away from them. Seven. Poverty kills dreams and visions. Poverty kills dreams and visions. Some of you here have visions to build schools. Anyone here has the vision to build a hospital? You want to build a hospital? You want to build a school? And you have not built it. The reason is poverty. Your dreams are strangled. This church is a suspect here. Let me try this one. You are dreaming big. You want to own an orphanage and but nothing, poverty has strangled your dreams. Poverty has killed your vision. Oh, Jesus. Oh, if only I had this money, I would have done A, B, C, D. Your A, B, C, D is hanging by its neck because of poverty. Next one, poverty is a case. 
Poverty is a case. Next one. Poverty makes you vulnerable to sin. When a man is poor, he can sin easily. What I'm saying? When a woman is poor, she can easily sin. You have no money for rentals. And a man with a big pot belly comes and says, I will give you whatever you need. A sister easily gives in because of poverty. So that's why I don't want to be a poor father. I want my daughter. But if a man approaches her for marriage, she looks at him from head to toe. Say, my father doesn't look like this. So I can't accept what doesn't look like my father. You know, some young girls are being manipulated. You know, I'll take you to Chicago. I'll take you to Hawaii. Sounds like witchcraft. Hawaii. No. I'll fly you first class. My daughter must be able to look at the man and say, excuse me, sir. My father has already flown me first class. My mother has already taken me to Chicago. I can speak American English. Don't manipulate me with your money. I prophesy over somebody's I life. Receive. They will never manipulate you in I Jesus' receive. name. a voice I give you 10 million rand be my girlfriend the sister is shaking everywhere <laughs> number 10 the last one poverty kills marriages Poverty kills marriages. Many marriages have broken up because of poverty. But I pray for you. I declare over your life. I receive. That you shall never be poor again. I receive. But then most of the poverty in Africa is caused by witchcraft. You try to, to rise up, your uncle brings you down. You buy that car small car, looks like a, toto, a tortoise. Yaris is better than that car small thing is, it looks like you can't tell whether it's going or it's coming. It's when you are entering, you have to tell your children, please push me in. Just that somebody is ready to slaughter you. Jealous in Africa. I will tell you this. If you are to, to do a, a study and a survey, most of these shant places, that's where many witches and wizards live.
When witchcraft is operating, it grounds everything to zero. I carry the anointing of prosperity in my hands. I declare it over your life. I receive. I was in a service where I was preaching Zimbabwe. During worship, diamonds began to fall from the sky. Huh? I, I was shocked. I think on Sunday I'll show you I have a picture, I think, of a diamond that I held it in my hand. Huh? Yes, in my hands. Some diamonds just began to rain in a service. And there was a brother from Congo. He is a specialist in diamonds. When he examined these diamonds, because the price of a diamond is uh, not really in the size, but in the cut, the way it's cut. When he examined them, he says, I cannot put value on them. They are too valuable. I'm not talking about stories. I held them. And the last two weeks ago, I dreamed somebody gave me a basket full of diamonds. I receive. It's like diamonds are following. I was preaching in Botswana. Then a lady walks with the family. They brought me diamonds. After selling those diamonds, my step of walking changed. <laughs> Pow! <laughs> yeah! I declare over your life. I receive. Your walk shall change. I receive. Your walk shall I change. I receive it. God shall load your body. I receive. Wow. Hey. I had this basket. And I'm saying, I, I, why am I dreaming this? I know it's coming. Receive your miracle. I receive it. Yes. When a man is broke, you can tell by the way they walk. But when money enters your pocket, hey. even when you are in shorts, yes. there's a confidence built up in you. Yes. Hi, John. Hi, what's up, man? Yo. Pow! Oh, the devil is a bastard. Yes! You shall not die poor. I receive. You won't die poor. I receive. Yeah. Huh? Oh, God. You know... My, we, my wife, she works in a, in a place at the airport where they, they sell these things. She was, yesterday she was showing me a small thing like this. Was costing about 10,000 US dollars. Small things like this, 20,000 dollars. Say, Shikai, this is a, this is a Mercedes Benz here. And... And I was asking, do people buy? She says, yes, they come, they buy, they go. Somebody be putting a watch on their wrist. 30,000 US dollars. Someone is wearing a house. <laughs> and you are still renting. The devil is a liar. Yes! Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes. I want to reach a level where my ring is a house. I receive. My watch is a house. I receive. My shoe 
is a house. I receive. My jacket is a car. I receive. When I pass through a compound, I'm wearing a I'm wearing a township. I receive it. Pow! Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Receive your miracle. Receive your miracle. Receive your breakthrough. Receive your favor. Receive your money. Receive your breakthrough. Receive it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Receive it. Wow. Somebody declare, my father, my father. My father, my father. Every power of witchcraft. Every power of witchcraft. Causing poverty in my life. Causing poverty in my life. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Break by fire. Break by fire. Pow. Yes. Sit down. I'll be done soon. I'm wearing a compound. Receive. I'm wearing a garage. I receive. Pow! And you are still renting. You are still borrowing shoes. If you enter my bedroom, the bed I sleep on is God. The toilet seat is diamond. I receive. To me, in heaven, what men are dying for here is what we shall be walking on. Amen. Let me finish like this. The Bible says, It is the Lord who gives you power. It is the Lord who anoints you. Amen. It is the Lord who empowers you to create wealthy. Amen. So meaning for you to enter this dimension and territory and possess you need an anointing Amen. to possess Is the anointing for wealthy. Amen. When Moses was blessing the children of Israel, one of the tribes that he blessed, he said, may you possess the riches hidden under the ground. Some of you under your house, there could be gold or diamonds. But you need the anointing for that to manifest. Imagine all these years. You have been living, struggling. While under your bed is a gold mine. And God calls those things that are not as though they were. So God has the ability to create. And you are created in the image of God. You can also create. So if you are anointed for wealthy, you can create it. Amen. 
I speak diamond mines. I receive under your houses. I receive it. Uh, there was a, a, a woman in, in Ghana. This woman was faithful in church. Very faithful. Giving tithe all the time and putting seed. After 10 years, they discovered her, her, her house. Her plot was actually sitting on God, on a golden mine. This is what I believe. It's just my thinking. That when she went in that place, maybe there was no God. But because of her faithfulness, because of entering particular dimensions, Amen. God sent some underground angels. Amen. I don't know if they are such. They entered her compound underground and deposited. Somebody here I receive is about to own some oil field. I receive it. So wealth must come in your hands. I receive. After this Easter, I receive. Wealth will enter your hands. I receive. Hmm. Oh. And so wealth quickly, five minutes I'll be done. Last time I told you there are ten dimensions to wealth. Number one. If we are to call you a wealth man or a wealthy woman, number one dimension is that is education. A wealthy man, wealthy woman must have some level of education. Ignorance is a killer. If you dropped out of school, go back to school. Yes. Now, I'm not saying everyone should have a PhD, or, but at least have some education. Number two, a wealthy person has workers or servants. Workers or servants. Workers. Every man in the Bible who was wealthy, they had servants. They had people who were working for them. My question is, how many people are working for you? Some of us, not even a grass cutter. Not even a sweeper outside your compound, nothing. Not even a maid, nothing. To be ashamed of yourself. Number three. A healthy man is healthy. Healthy. Good health. Sickness is not supposed to be your portion. I declare every disease to die in your body right now. Receive. Every virus dies supernaturally. I receive. Number four. Animals. In those days, they used to measure wealth with animals. Now in our time, what? Cars or... Number five. Property, stroke investments. What have you invested in? Do you own shares in any company?
Have you noticed that uh, churches, most of our landlords are non-believers? Eh? And even you, most of you here, your landlords are non-believers. But God is shifting that. Amen. You are going to be a property owner. I receive. You are going to be an investor. I receive. You will sit with the president and negotiate. I receive. Listen to me. It's not about how good your English is. It's about how heavy your pocket is. Amen. Even when your English is broken, you can still negotiate. Sit with your broken English and speak. Eh, we, we are able to invest in South Africa. It doesn't matter. I declare property in your hands. I declare property in your family. I receive it. You shall own houses you never build. I receive it. You shall own property you never build. I receive it. I release investment. I receive. I release investment. I receive. Number six is land. Every time God was blessing a man, he gave them land. Being a tenant is demonic. And it is demonic. That's why God does not rent your heart. He possesses your heart. Number six. Seven, sorry. Is precious stones. Diamonds, gold, and all those. Tanzanite and... Hey. Number eight, relationships. Relationships are more powerful than money. Huh? If you have good relationships, your life can change. If they arrested you today, if they arrested you today, and they said, uh, we need a million rand to be paid in 48 hours. How many people do you have in your phone book who can bail you out within 42 hours, 48 hours with a 1 million rand? When God wants to bless a man, he connects them. You, you, you don't need 100 people. You need only one man. One man can change your life. But most of us, our Facebook friends, our phone book people are all broke chaps. In fact, you are the one at least who is better. And so you have nowhere to look for help. I stand on the altar of prophet D.D. Isaac. I receive. I declare in Jesus' name. I receive. Every fake friends around you. I receive. Anyone occupying space for nothing. I receive. In your Samsung. I receive. In your Nokia. I receive. I delete them by fire. I receive it. Power. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. I enter in the spirit now. I receive. I look for divine helpers. I receive it. I look for men and women. I receive it. That will change your life. I receive it. I collect them from China. I receive it. I get them from Brazil. I receive it. I fly them to South Africa. I receive it. I connect you. I receive. To your destiny helper. I receive. Receive divine relationship. I receive it. Yes.
Oh yes. They are coming. I receive. I said they are coming. I receive it. They will locate you. I receive it. Men of substance. I receive it. When Jesus was born. Yes. Wise men came from the east. Yes. They were carrying diamonds. Yes. They were carrying gold. Yes. They were carrying gifts. Yes. I declare. I receive May it. May they locate you. I receive it. Pow. Oh yes. Go to relationships. I receive it. Men and women that will change your life. I receive it. And make your life better. I receive it. Number nine is wisdom. Wisdom. God will give you some, some people here wisdom. When God gives you wisdom like Solomon... You can never be poor. There are three dimensions of wisdom. There's the wisdom of man. There's the wisdom of the underworld or demonic wisdom. And then there's divine wisdom. You need divine wisdom. Where others are scratching their heads, you are just smiling. When God gives you wisdom, the Bible says Solomon made the silver like common stones. God was everywhere. When God gives you wisdom, put your right hand on your head. Declare, my father, my father, give me wisdom. Give me wisdom. And then lastly, the tenth dimension of wealthy is money. Money. Rand. Dollar. I receive. And the money is not all the same. Money is in, in dimensions. Different. We have dollar, pound, Quacha, euro, shilling, and all. Different streams. And so what God does, when he wants to bless you, he makes you a meeting point. No one is ready for this. I receive. He makes you a meeting point of streams of money. I receive. Uh, yes let me climb the altar thank you Jesus are you seeing these things so what God does he puts you here in the center this is a stream or a river of runs Amen. This is a river of dollars. Amen. Euros. Amen. So all around you, there are rivers that enter your life. I receive. I prophesy. I receive. A Every river that the devil has closed, I receive. I open it up. I receive it. I open it up. I receive. Receive your money. I receive. I say, receive your money. I receive. Receive your money. I receive. I receive it. Wow. Huh? Somebody here is about to buy a money counting machine. I receive it. I receive. Yes. You. You will put it in your bedroom. 
I receive. And you call your wife. I receive. You call your children. I receive. Say, bring those bags in the garage. I receive. Let's see how much we have. I receive. Qua. I receive it. The river of dollars. I receive bring it. Bring those euros there. I receive it. If you try to count with your fingers, they'll get swollen. Because God is about to bless you. I receive it. I enter the rivers of I money. I receive it. I collect your money. I receive it. I come back to Holy Ghost Embassy. I receive it. I throw it in the audience. I receive it. The anointing of money is upon I me. I receive it. I declare I receive your finances. I receive it. Every power of the enemy. I receive it. Every power of the devil. I receive it. Against your finances. I receive it. I break that power. I receive it. I break that yoke. I receive it. Property is over. I receive it. Wealth is coming your way. I receive it. You are blessed. I receive it. Your children are blessed. I receive it. Your pocket is blessed. I receive it. You Receive your wealth now. I receive it. Receive your wealth now. I receive it. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Amen. With your hands lifted up. I receive it. I receive it. Maka Hadalish. I receive it. Mutalaba Handazi. I receive it. Every witchcraft spell. I receive. Is broken. I receive it. I release the money that you need right now. I receive it. Anyone in this building I receive it. That is bound by the spirit of poverty. I receive it. I declare you loosed. I receive it. Some of you right now will begin to feel the anointing for money. I receive it. You begin to feel heat in your hands. I receive it. Lord, release it. I receive it. It's coming. The wave is moving. I receive it. The wave is moving. I receive it. Poverty, get out. I receive it. Poverty, get out. I receive it. Poverty, get out. I receive it. Receive the anointing for money. I receive it. Receive the anointing for wealth. I receive it. Yes. Yes. Right yes. now I'm seeing a hand that is decorated with the precious stones. I receive it. Begin to receive. 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 I receive it. Yes. Just open up your mouth, begin to honor God. 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 Money is coming. Money is coming. Property is broken. Ira <laughs> 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 
prophet and before I prophesy to you there's a need of the presence of God Amen. I have a lot of things tonight to do Amen. Power. a lot of things tonight but because you know people they're not ready to receive. Let me prophesy even to two or three. Then we can go home. Prophesy. Lift your hands. You need to create an environment. The prophetic is an environment. It's an environment. You don't just prophesy just like that. Lift up your hands. And everybody who is seated down, kindly rise up. You can't be in such kind of an environment where there's such kind of an anointing. Remember, it is the first day and tomorrow we're going to be here. I'm going to be with you for three days. And I believe in these three days, Amen. your life must turn around. I receive it. Lift up your hands. I want, us, I, I want us to worship God. I want us to create an atmosphere. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Begin to pray Everything in tongues. Pray 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 in tongues. Lift your hands. Pray in tongues. I surrender. I surrender. I surrender. Everything I Supreme, the Lacoro Satanabo Shatala, Massa Talabo Shatala, Massa Talabo Shatalina, with 
I see God. I receive. Changing your story. I receive. In the name of Jesus. I receive. In the name of Jesus. I receive. In the name of Jesus. I receive. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Let me speak to about four or five people. When I see something is very Mama, have I ever spoken to you? Give a microphone. Have I ever spoken to you? No, Papa. Huh? No. I wrote what God told me. The Lord... <sighs> Professor! You, sir. You. 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 The Lord is about to bless you. You, do you know what it means a prophet saying the Lord is about to bless you? I receive. Can you receive on his behalf? I receive. I receive. This is not a receiving. There are people who want receive. to receive. I receive. Do you know somebody was born in September? September. Yes, Papa. Huh? It's my son. Yeah? It's my son. Where's your son? He's at home. He's, 
The Lord is saying, I must pray against the spirit of alcohol. Oh. Alcohol. Huh? Yes, Papa. Because I see somebody who drinks alcohol. Yes, huh? yes Does Papa. he drink? He drinks a lot. Huh? Because I see he's, a, an, he's an international drunker. Yeah. Huh? That's true, Papa. The Lord says, I must pray for your boy. Because the Lord says, I must pray for number three. Hmm. Number three. It's, number three. It's him. It's is number it him? Him. Prophesy. The Lord says, I must. Oh, Shakoba. Prophesy. Power. Oh. The Lord says, I must pray for number three. That's Why must I pray for number three? There was an attempt of an accident in 2014. In 2014, there was a, an attempt of an accident. What happened? That's true, huh? Papa. My last born. Your last born? Yes. Huh? He, had, he had a bad accident. He, he had he a bad died. accident. Yes. What, what happened? He died. He died. He died. The Lord says, because when I was looking at you, I saw, I saw a woman cry, crying, crying, crying. And every time you remember about your boy, how he, he was involved in a car accident, it really hurts you. I even saw you on the day of the funeral. I was there on the day of the funeral. I am seeing there burying a boy. I receive. Come here, 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 come here. Come here, come here. Ah, because this is a spirit that is hunting all your children. That's true. Amanda, Amanda, yes, Amanda, Papa, Amanda, yes. Amanda Every is your year. name. Yes, Papa. Amanda is your name. Yes. Miriam is your name. Yes, yes. Professor, DDI, prophetic sharpshooter. This, this, this boy, Every time you remember, you remember, it hates you so it's much. True, Papa. Because it's he true. died a mysterious death. He died on the spot. Uh, at the age of 23, Papa. 23. He died on the spot. Very intelligent boy. Power. You, 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 you. Ever, ever, ever talk to you? No, Pops. Huh? No, Pops. Who was born on eight? On eight. It's him. Huh? It's him. Professor D.D. Isaac. Ah, you, you know, <laughs> you know these things, you may think like, but I want to show you that I am personally ready for you. Yes! The Lord says, let's pray for you, the second born. Because the spirit of accident is about to take away this one again. The, because when I was looking in the spirit, I saw an eagle. And that eagle was flying on five children. Five children. Yes. Five children. We are five How many number. are you? We are five in number. Professor! The eagle was... Yeah. Do something, Papa. <laughs> the eagle was flying on five children. Papa, we are remaining only three now. Only three. 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 You, how many are you? How many are you? And now, there's grace for you to even attend the first day. I am just giving you the cream. Giving you the cream. Five of you. We're five, Papa. Five of you. Yes, two You, they wanted away. to fire you at work. Yes, Papa. Huh? It's true, they wanted Papa. to fire you. I, they fired me after two, three months of February. They now they called, called you. Back. Huh? They called, they don't want to, Papa, they don't want to release my, my salary. And upon the promotion that you spoke about, Papa, they gave me the promotion. They're refusing to, to increase my salary uh, according to the position that I had. No, the salary is not a problem. Life is the one which is important. Mm -hmm. eh? Yes, yes, Papa. Huh? Do something, Papa, it's true. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Come here. Come here. Stand here. Stand here. Come here. You. You have arthritis. You have arthritis. That's true. That's eh? true, Papa. Huh? That's true. Pff, Jesus. Come here. I saw somebody. And this person, I saw in the spirit. Shalia Karosh. Hmm. I saw a spirit that was about to take away this number three. Mm. Like the way they took away this boy. And the Lord they told me to pray for protection. Ay. Because... Please, Papa, pray for me. How did I, you... I, 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 wait, wait. wait. You bury every year. Every year I bury. 
How did your where is your husband? How He's did he dead. die? He died. He, he used to come here huh? to church. After uh, June, he passed away. On Just wake up in the morning. After five minutes, he spoke to my mother. After that, he just collapsed and, and fall in the room. We were surprised. How did he die? He just died, but huh? He just fall and died. That man was not supposed to die. <laughs> Do something. This is a problem with most of you. When you are out of the covering, when you are out of the covering, a lot of bad things that happen to you. Covering is very important. Covering is very important. This man was not supposed to die. This was an attack. The way they killed this boy, that's the way now they killed this man. That's the reason the Lord told me to pray for Miriam and uh, Amanda. Do you have, do you have like, like, Chima. Chima. It's my husband. <laughs> Professor. Prophetic sharpshooter. Chima. Yes, like Papa. a Nigerian man. He's a Nigerian. From Abia State. No, Papa. From, um, no. from Imo. No, there are 11 of them. Yes. There are 11, Papa. Professor. Didi Isaac. Super rating for the notorious. Yeah. You don't argue with with a prophet. Huh? <laughs> you. Yes, Papa. They'll give you your promotion. I receive, Papa. Turn around three times. Look at me. Jesus. You're free. Pow. If you don't clap hands, you are a witch. Ah. If you don't clap your hands, I don't know what you came here to do. Yeah. Mama. I travel in KZN. Yo, prophesy. Who is in KZN? It's my family. My it's whole family is your from whole family. KZN. Yes, it's in KZN. Yes, Papa. Huh? Yes. I am in Ladysmith. I am in Newcastle. In Newcastle, I travel in a place like Quam 30. Quam 30. As I'm in, in Comtati, the Lord says, get back to a place. I am seeing a place. This place is like starting with N. N, 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 N. It's like an N in name. And then when I'm looking at this place, I'm seeing your grandfather, your great-grandfather. Yes, yes. Used to be like Inyang, Inyanga, Inyanga. Like a witch, 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 witch doctor. No, it's my mother who used to be a prophet and a witch doctor. Huh? My, my like mother. a witch, witch, witch yes, doctor. Yes, huh? yes, She used to put on like a red. Yes, huh? yes, Papa. Like a Zion, a Zion, a Zion. Yes, Pops, yes. Professor. Yeah. Go deeper. May the Lord surprise you. I'll receive it. La rush idiakusha. I'll receive it. La shiki ya prokotosia. I'll receive it. The Lord has remembered you. The Lord they told you, me thank you, Lord. Thank on you, such Jesus. kind of a day, yes. you will no longer bury. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I receive. You will no longer bury. I receive. Have you heard me? I receive, Papa. I receive, Pops. The way your husband died. Oh, Pops. February, <laughs> April, May, June. Yes. June. Oh. June. Yes, Papa. When yes. did he die? In June. June, yes, Pops. Pow! June. June. He June. died in June. Yes, yes. Between 11 and 17. Uh -uh. Give a microphone. On the 10th of June. That's when he passed away. It was on a Sunday. No, I see. 11. <laughs> but it was on the 10th, Papa, because I remember it was on a Sunday morning when they called me. When yeah. they called me to come home. I see 11. You rushed him where? <laughs> Papa, when we, they called us, we were late. Actually, when we came, already he was dead. Because my mom was saying that he's been acting strange. He didn't even want to look at her face. What they were discussing, after discussing, he now gave all the pin numbers. Papa, that number, that day for the card. I don't know what they were planning. Then the next thing, he was having flu. 
Then he went to bath. After bathing, when he tried to climb on the bed, he's now fall and go just like that. Yeah. This man, this is what I'm telling you. Now, I, w- I want to tell you. Because I yes. see on the 11 at the hospital. On the 11 at the hospital. hospital Papa. No, I'm seeing 11 at the hospital. Okay. And then as I'm looking at this, because I'm seeing like, I don't know what is this. I don't know what is this. This is like, like April. April again. Because in April, this man, it's like he began to be a very funny. Because this issue started like a heart attack. Yes, huh? yes. Where he had like problem to breathe. But now, Papa, he fell on a... Uh, because he was a painter. He fell on top of the, the ceiling. Yes. It was in April where he began to complain yes, of chest, chest problems. He always had chest problems. Huh? Papa, he was coughing all the time. Uh-huh. Yes. So you have remembered now, eh? I remembered now. Uh-huh. Yeah. Clap hands for Jesus. Professor! Now... The Lord says, no one would die again. Oh, Come here. I receive, I receive. Come here. I receive. You will not lose your husband. Hey, Jesus. I protect your husband. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. He will not divorce you. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Wow. Ah, let me just stop. Lift your hands, say, Father. Sir. Lift your hands, say, Father. Father, as I come tomorrow, as I come tomorrow, as I come tomorrow, as I come tomorrow, my life is changing. My life is changing. In Jesus' name. In Jesus', In Jesus name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Sit down. Do you know Lebu? Do you know Lebu? Where na? You have forgotten your classmate. Lebu. You. There's somebody. There's somebody. I see. I see Kalarush Idiahaso. Kazuka Ba. I see. This will be in December. <laughs> you know, prophets, they speak even the things that you don't know. I see it will be in December. In December, you'll be seated on the desk. On the desk, you'll be writing metrics. Like me, 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 me. Yes, Papa. Finals, finals in December. It will be on 20, 28. 20, 26, 28. 26, 28. Yes, Papa. And then I see somebody next to you. Eh? Next to you by the name of Tabo. And you'll be writing mathematics. And that is a topic, like a subject you're having a problem. Yes, Papa. Eh? Yes. I see you passing that subject. I receive, I receive, yes. Have you heard? Yes. Huh? Now, I want to help you. I want to open up your mind. They blocked your mind. Okay? Yes, Papa. Take your hand. Put upon your head. Say, Father. Father. I am wiser. I am wiser. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Yes. There is a snake every time when you sleep. Look at me. There is a snake every time you sleep. It comes to abuse you. The Lord says you are delivered. Yes. Go. You. You are born a celebrity. You are born a celebrity. I see God's grace on you. I see. The Lord is going to bless you. The Lord is going to turn all your life around. Go. It is done. Thank you. you Thank you, Jesus. Turn around three times. Can you turn around, Wena? Can you turn around also? I see miracles. Miracles. It is done. It is done. It is done. I receive. (laughs) Sir, come here. Where is your wife? Can you speak up? I'm not yet married. Sit down. Huh? I'm not yet married. You, you have a big problem. (laughs) Hey. You know, there are some certain men. That's the reason. Sometimes. You heard what Bishop said. He said, it is dangerous to be poor and to marry a woman. Because you'll be in trouble. Stand up. Jani? Ya pele? Iga kongubani? Ha? Gosbongi. Gosbongi le. Sbongi le. 
Okay. Sibongile. Sibongile. Yeah. Sibongile. Sibongile. Who is a teacher? Hmm? Who is a teacher? My sister-in-law. Eh? My sister-in-law. Huh? Your sister-in-law. You. Another microphone to be there. Because another microphone. Another mi mi microphone. Another microphone. Because I'll prophesy double. Pow! Give me a microphone. You are Sibongile. Yes. Huh? Yes. Sibongile. Yes. What do you want me to speak? Anything. What? Tell me what you want me to speak. Tell Prophecy. Me. Huh? Which area? To... Which area? Money, family, what? Tell me. About my life. About your life? Yeah. Eh? Mm -hmm. Ah. Mm -hmm. Stand here. You, what do you want? Breakthrough. Huh? Breakthrough. What do you want me to speak about your life? A breakthrough in my life. Huh? Breakthrough in my life. On breakthrough. Do you, do you know somebody who is an engineer? Yes. Who is an engineer? I've got a friend who is an engineer. Huh? A friend. I've got a friend who is an engineer. I see Shell. Shell Garage calling you. Thank you, Papa. I receive, Papa. You are looking for employment. Yes, Papa. Huh? Yes, Papa. You are looking for employment. But not only that, because in the spirit, I was seeing a place. This place is like, is like Wange, Wange, Wange. And as I'm in Wange, I see, I see somebody connected to you, like Zimbabwe, because you're coming from Zimbabwe. Yes, Papa. Huh? Yes, Papa. But you are very new here in South Africa. I see you new, new. I see like Tapiwa. My name is Tapuma, Papa. Professor! You have a sister who was born on the 17th of July. Yes, Papa. Huh? Yes, Papa. The 17th of July. Yes, Papa. You? Yeah. I see a big problem. Yes. The problem that I see that God is telling me to pray. I need to pray for your children. There is a big confusion on your children. Where are your children? Call them. Is she the firstborn or what? Is she the first? Yes. Huh? Yes. Firstborn. Where is the thirdborn? I only got two. Huh? I only got two. Uh -uh, you are forgotten. <laughs> I will remind you. This one is the firstborn. Where is the secondborn? Huh? Where is the secondborn? Died. Huh? This is what I'm saying. This, because I see three. There was a there was a time before her was was like conceived. In fact, this one is a first. But before the second born, there was a time where you lost like a pregnancy. You lost like a pregnancy. Two miscarriages, two miscarriages, and it was even hard for you to conceive the second born. Huh? Is it true? Go deeper. Is it true? Can you remember anything? No. Huh? No. There was a time where you had like a miscarriage. This is like, wait, 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 wait. Shalabaharakas. Lift up your hands. Say, Father. Father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Give me grace. Give me grace. Who is born in April? This was in April 1963. April 1963. In 1963, I saw your father. Where is your father? He, huh? He's late. He's Baba. late. Yes. But uh, it's like, did he have like another marriage somewhere? No. Huh? No, Papa. Or other children somewhere? No, no, Papa. It's only, it's just me and my brother. Because I see like, I see like a polygamy, 1963. And I saw like your father, because your father is like, this man used to do well, used to do well, used to do well. Yes. But uh, there is a big problem here, because in their marriage, they never used to live like well, well, well. They had that's big true. problems. Yeah, that's huh? true, that's true. Because I see like sometimes, there was a time where they separated. Yes, that's true, Papa. Huh? That's true. Did yeah. you separate? Yeah, it's true, Papa. Eh? Yeah. Do you know where he went? 
Do you know where he went after the separation? Hmm? To another woman. He went to a woman called Sitati. Sitati. Bueno. He went to a woman called Sitati. And this man got married. That's how he left you. Not only that, that's the reason I'm seeing some children somewhere. That's the reason I'm seeing some children. After this separation, yes, this but... man went somewhere. But I'm seeing him coming back again. Yes, Papa. Because after he got married, I saw him coming back to your mother. Yes, Papa. Professor! <laughs> Is it true? Yes, it's true. Eh? It's true. Can it? Hmm? Can it? Can no, but can it? Can it? Can Can it? Oh, it's true. Yeah, it's true. I know. <laughs> I know. Pow! Whatever you are struggling with, I receive. Let God give you breakthroughs. I receive. So I saw this man ca coming back. Yeah. I saw this man coming mm. back asking you, no, let's get back together. You know, you know, I've I've learned my lesson, this and that. Yes. Is it true? Yes. By that time you <laughs> you are a young girl. Yeah. Eh? Yes. You are a young girl. Yes. Ah. Lift up your hands. It's good to prophesy. Prophesy. <laughs> Lift up your hands. Say, Father. You. You. Turn around three times. Congratulations. I receive. I receive. I receive. Stand up. I receive. I receive. Is that your child or what? It's my child. Huh? It's my child. Stand up also. Turn around with your mother three times. It is done. I receive, I receive. Thank you, Papa. Thank you, Jesus. Bank, bank. Thank you, Jesus. Bank, bank. bank. bank I will call you for promotion. I receive. The bank. I receive. The I receive, bank. Papa. We will call you for what? For promotion. Pow! So, I want to pray for your heart. Yes. Your heart is giving you a problem. Yes. Huh? You can't yes. sleep. Yes. It's giving you, it's bumping. Too yes, fast. Yes, huh? yes. Order. Come here. It is done. Clap hands for Jesus. Wow. Lift up your hands, say, Father. Father. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. My life. My life. Will never be the same again. Will never be the same again. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Sir. Sir. Yes, sir. I want you to be very careful. I'll be here. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, Papa. I want you to be very careful. There's a... You were born with three stars. Yes, Papa. Three stars. When were you born? In 1982. When? 21st of November. 20 what? 21st of November. 21st of November. Yes. Huh? Yes, Papa. How many months from now to November? Hey. Uh, Hi. Seven, Are you right? Papa. Huh? Seven, Papa. You were born on the 7th? No, on the 21st. Huh? 21st. On the 21st. Yes, Papa. The Lord says you are born with three stars. Yes, Papa. But there is a power from your family yes, Papa. holding your success. That's the reason you, you are still struggling. You receive a lot of rejection. Do something, Papa. When I look at you, I saw somebody on the train. And before the train reaches its destination, I saw the train being involved in an accident. And the Lord says, look at him. This is what is fighting his life. I saw a spirit that do, does not allow you to enter your destination. Do something, That's Papa. the reason you are struggling. This is 11 years now. Do something, Papa. Even you, you're supposed to get married a long time. Yes, Papa. You find beautiful women, but they reject you. Yes, Papa. Eh? Yes, Papa. It's because you don't have money. Yes, Papa. Receive money. Take. <laughs> Clap hands for Jesus. None of my son, they will never reject you because you lack money. In Jesus' name. Receive. You're from where? You're from where? Stand up. You're from where? From Blue Fontaine. Blue Fontaine. Lift up your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus. In the name of 
As I come tomorrow. As I come tomorrow. Change my story. Change my story. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Shh. Say father. Father. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. As I come tomorrow. As I come tomorrow. My life. My life. Will never be the same again. Will never be the same again. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Clap hands for Jesus. Pow. The prophecy is very deep. I can't mention it. But the Lord will use you. I receive. The Lord will use you. Amen. Mightly. Amen. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Our God is greater. Our God is greater. Lord, who are higher than me. You're from where? Huh? That power fighting you is broken now. Thank you, Jesus. Take it. Power. Lift up. You are making me, you are making me not to prophesy to you. Pow! I see a family that is blessed by God. But I see polygamy. Okay? Yes. I see polygamy over your family. Yes. Is it true? Yes, true, Papa. Huh? True, Papa. I see polygamy over your family. And that's the reason there's a power that is fighting you not to settle in marriage. As I'm looking True, at you, Papa. I'm seeing a single woman married again. A single woman married. True, Papa. Are you married? Not married. But you used to be married. I was not married, but I was staying with a boyfriend. Ah, uh -uh. I see you, you were married. Can you speak up? Yes, Papa, I can speak up. I was not married. I see you, you were married with this man. Did you have a child? Yes, I've got a child. With which, which, which man? in Malawi. Yeah, there was a man you used to have. This man is your husband. Then how did you have a child? <laughs> Maybe she's a spirit. Yeah. <laughs> There's a spirit that must be broken. Yeah, okay. Papa. You, you, they always reject you. That's true, Papa. Okay? Yes. <sighs> Lift up your hands. Say, so, Father, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I receive my miracle. I receive my miracle. Lift up your hands. Say, Father. Father. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Receive my miracle. I receive my miracle. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. All that are watching us on uh, Facebook, you are watching us on YouTube. Once again, you have been blessed. Uh, tomorrow we are starting early in the morning around nine. Is it nine hours in the morning? Nine hours in the morning or nine o'clock in the morning. It's going to be a couple's service. It's for everybody. It's for everybody. I'll be teaching about marriage, relationship, uh, how to prosper, how to be influential. Praise God. And at the same time, it's going to be a prophetic service. So, I want all those who are married, who are married, you are in a relationship, uh, you have a boyfriend. The way you are looking at me, The way you look at me, be like, pa, pa. you the way I know you. In fact, in fact, it's not a one. It's a four. You know. Four. Why are you feeling, why, why aren't you looking at me? Praise God. So come with, uh, whether they are four, they are five, ten. Come with them. Hallelujah. So, shh, it's going to be a nice time in the presence of God and uh, God is going to do a lot of things. I'm prepared. That's the reason you see me. I've given time for men of God to minister. So we can have time, more time, to, to, to do what God has called us to do. I believe you have been blessed. 
I believe your life will never be the same again. Now tomorrow, I want you to come with 21 prayer points. How many? 21. Now, you must write them. Include your family, your business, your church. If you want your church to grow, you want your husband to change, put him in the prayer point. If you want, take even his clothes. Bring it here. He said, as Jesus will resurrect, let your love resurrect also. You know, I'm telling you. So, be prepared to write 21 prayer points. I'll be praying for them one by one. One by? One by? So, I'll have time to pray for people, to speak to people. And on Sunday, we are having a massive, 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 massive service. So, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord lift you in Jesus' name. Lift up your hand. Say, I receive. I receive. Say, I receive. I receive. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. All those that are watching, may the Lord bless you. Shalom, shalom. Put the two hands for Jesus. Power. Hallelujah. Let's give our time.